Are you moving to the Arlington, Virginia area soon and are unsure of where to start your home search? Do you wish you had someone knowledgeable who could give you insight on great neighborhoods? Ones that not only meet your housing needs, but also are close to amenities that you need, like the great schools, shopping, restaurants, the mall, the metro, and other necessities? Well, stay tuned because I'm talking today about Lion Park, neighborhood in Arlington, Virginia, and we are getting started right now. Lion Park is a lovely and highly sought after neighborhood located in Arlington, Virginia. To the east of Lion Park is Fort Myer and Arlington National Cemetery, with the Pentagon to the south and east of the cemetery. And to the north and west are the major shopping and dining hubs of Boston and Clarendon. It is also bordered by the major routes of Wilson and Clarendon Boulevards to the north, 50 to the south, and 120 or Glebe Road to the west, so getting in and out of the community is a breeze for commuters. This neighborhood was founded in 1919 and now features roughly 2,500 homes for about 5,000 residents. It actually is designated as an historic district in the National Register of Historic Places. The homes are a blend of older homes and new builds, and the styles include bungalows, colonial, modern farmhouses, Cape Cod, craftsmen, and modern and contemporary. Many of the homes have been renovated in the last several years and have upgraded interior features or fresh landscaping or hardscaping. Lot sizes tend to be on the smaller side at under a quarter acre and single family homes in this neighborhood have been going for between 700,000 and close to 1.6 million over the last several months. This is a highly desirable neighborhood. So especially in this seller's market, the homes are often getting snatched up within days of going on the market. Do be mindful that most of the street parking in the northern half of Lion Park is zone 6 during certain hours. You'll want to be careful not to get ticketed or towed during those times if your pass is not on display. Otherwise, there is non-zoned parking on Wayne Street and multiple points south of 4th Street. There is a community center and reception hall located on three acres of green space at Pershing and Fillmore which is used for community activities, seasonal events and fairs, and as a rental space. Do note that this particular green space is dog free to maintain a safe play area for the kids. This area also has an outdoor basketball court, picnic tables, and lots of shade and room for picnics and other lawn activities. Within the Lion Park neighborhood is Long Branch Elementary School. It is located at the southern edge of Lion Park, just above 50, so no matter where in Lion Park you live, the school is five minutes or less away. Thomas Jefferson Middle School lies just outside of Lion Park, but is still within walking distance. Also at the southern end of Lion Park is the Cambridge Courts Condominiums, which is a garden-style condo complex with over 30 buildings featuring one to two bedroom units. So if you want to enjoy being in Lion Park, but aren't quite ready for that single family home, then this place could be a good option for you. Another nice thing about living in this community is that you can jump on the Fillmore Park Trail that starts to the north at 3rd and Fillmore, right in the middle of the neighborhood, and exits the neighborhood at the southeastern end, where you can link up with other routes that go every other direction north toward Roslyn, east toward Arlington National Cemetery, south toward Pentagon City and Crystal City, and west toward Lubber Run and the W and OD Trail. So really, if you're coming here to work at Fort Myer, the Pentagon, the National Foreign Affairs Training Center, or Amazon and National Landing, you'll definitely want to take a look at Lion Park in your home search. Lastly, as you heard me mention before, 
Lion Park is in a great location to enjoy the amazing amenities of Clarendon and Boston. There are world-class restaurants with menus to suit any taste at any budget. Plus, all the main necessities that you need to get set up in your new home are here. You also have three metro stations within one to two miles of your home in Lion Park, so that's a fantastic consideration for those of you without cars. If you are relocating to DC and you would like my free guide on defining your housing needs to help with your home search, then go ahead and hit the link below and I'd be glad to send that to you. All right, that's it for this week. Be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. I put out new content every week that I know you're not gonna wanna miss. While you're here, go ahead and hit the bell so you can be notified every time I do put out a new video. You can beat the rush and be one of my first viewers. I'm Stephanie Vickis with Keller Williams Metro Center, and I will see you next time.